This is my NXT Segway that is built and based on, designed on, the NXT Segway with Rider on nxtprograms.com. These two robots are very similar and there are a few differences I have included in to ensure that it stays as stable as possible really because I mean I looked at the video and uh, if you search around I think this video will be a reply to the video of the original um, this is actually very slightly modified versus the one there um, if you see here at the bottom I've used larger Lego tires so that uh, the, the larger the tire you use seems to make it more stable this is just the ordinary this is by the way this is with the NXT one and uh, Dave from NXT programs has been kind enough to construct a program for the version one that I've slightly modified I'll show you that in a minute this is the light sensor from the version one kit this is all the version one kit by the way um, yeah, apart from that, you've got things like, I'll uh, just rest it there and point them out. As you can see on here, it's what I found is you've got this bit here, and that, that'll that tilt about quite a bit on this one. I've used, um, these gears don't really mean anything here. This is the main one, and if you can see there, they are connected. This allows the robot to move properly. This at the top. Um, obviously, this isn't connected to anything, but it's you know it's a useful useful tool to steady it before starting. Um, apart from that, yeah, it's basically just the wheels are larger. This is obviously version one, and this is more stable than this one um, for the top bit. If you want to lean that about, apart from that, it's identical. Um, and I've also found that on this design that actually this um, top bit, with it being higher up, seems to make the whole unit more stable. I, I find that's I find that's really useful. Um, versus the one there, I'm, I'm I'm not putting that down at all. I'm sure it's a very good design. I've I've built it myself before modifying it to be like this. But comparing the two designs, I found that this 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 one that I've made here to be much more stable. I've had it going for I think it's over over 20 minutes. Um, just here, and this isn't exactly what you call. This isn't, you know, consistent white material or anything. It's just a normal room, normal light and everything. So, yeah, the monitor's been on. I mean, it's quite dark at the moment. I mean, that might help. These are some of the other tires I tried it with, and the normal NXT one tires. And I found, I mean, if you look at the size differences here, there's some even smaller one I used or tried anyway. Um, the larger the tire. It, the better because I, th I think it must be because it's got more area at the bottom touching the table perhaps or because there's because it's wider it's got more it's, it's more flat of the tire on the floor I don't, I'm not quite sure I'm not particularly interested or good at physics but um, yeah anyway yeah I, I'm going to show you a demo of this um, while that's going on I'll show you some other things so just wait there a second you can see um, how it works and I've got this ruler here There's some random ruler I found I'm going to use that to measure how far it goes from the starting point just you know check um, on my design and by the way if you want if you want to see instructions for my design just just ask or send me an email or post a comment or something on this video um, you put this on here and that will actually secure it so it doesn't move at all but for most of the time I like to, to play with it um, yeah so let's get this going is there for the moment right so um, I've got this here I made another program I'll show you that in a sec sorry put this back here that's that's in the center at 10 centimeters on the ruler so you see how much that that goes from the center right this takes five averages
like I said, this this will usually wait for about. I mean, I've had it going for 20 minutes. If I actually had this going properly, it would work for much, much longer. If I wanted it to. So yeah. Sorry about the shouting. Ugh. Talk about brothers and sisters, eh? Anyway, um, yeah. So there you go. That's center of the ruler. You see, it has actually drifted. I think that's probably this desk. But I mean, from the start position, that's probably what cent 20 centimeters. Um, and to be honest, it never actually differs, goes further than that, so um, I'll keep this going in the background just so you can see it going. Um, right, back to the computer. This is the program, obviously, if you want to see the real program, go to nxtprograms.com, which is, of course, where this has all come from. Thanks, Dave. Um, this is the, the program that I've um, created or changed for it. Anyway, um, Got a two sensors. Um, well, the sensors are further down, but if you get here, I've got a. So this is where it. This is the first section where it will just sort of let you know that it's about to start. Start doing um, the averaging, and then you've got some short rest there. Here you go. This is the first one. What it does is over a period of about. A second or two, it will take five, five different, um, five different readings from the light sensor, so that you get more precise and accurate result. There you go, and then you get that's that's just the maths of adding a plus b plus c plus d to value that five, which then gives you the final value. I find this gives it a lot more stability. Um, I mean, look, look, it's still going. It's yeah. Um, there is um, the original program. Um, I I'm very grateful for this program, but I, I I felt it needed these changes, which is why I I did it, and I'm sure it made a lot of difference. Now I'd like to show you before it starts falling off. This desk isn't exactly at the flat angle. Um, I've got this NXT vehicle remote program that works with the Bluetooth on the NXT, which is going to fall off in a minute. Um, to, and I've got it set up on motor A at about 10 speed with the gearing system so that it'll allow it to tilt forward and I'm probably, it will probably fall off if I'm not very careful, so watch carefully. In fact, if I put this here, you can see what I'm talking about. Here we go. So I'm tilting tilting the front section forward slightly here. Oh, sorry. <laughs> this wasn't connected properly. Come on. There we go. Have you noticed the front section's leaning forward slightly? There you go. Oh, now the keyboard's not enabled. Right, here we go. There we go. So that's slowly backwards, if I make the weight go slightly forward. And what I've done with this is, because it's with the gearing system, uh, with the gearing system like it is, if I put it back to centre, it will usually stay around where it is, but if I tilt it backwards or forwards, like it does on the original design, it does allow it to move slowly forwards and back, and it does, it does start to wobble about a bit after a while, because it's not quite balanced. Don't forget, this isn't using any gyro or anything, it's it's just using the value from the light sensor here. And that's quite important on the whole design thing. I'm, I don't use these beams to connect in, in into these side bits to hold it together, because um, I like to play with it like this. And that's it, I think. Um, I'm so glad I managed to get this video together. But, um, yeah, this... Uh, this design, if enough people want it to be um, posted somewhere, I'll put the instructions up near this video, on this video somewhere, and um, yeah, if you want to hear anything, um, or ask a question, or see the original designs, then go to NXT Programs, 